Ah! Freezing! But guess what? It's Christmas Eve, it's Christmas Eve, it's Christmas Eve, oh yes! <laughs> time to be alive. Christmas Eve. I absolutely love Christmas Eve. I love Christmas and um, Merry Christmas to you. Thank you one and all for all of your support this year on the channel. Uh, I can barely talk right now. 40,000 subscribers has been an absolutely fantastic achievement. Uh, I'm so happy, I'm so thankful, I'm so grateful for all of your support. So I really just wanted to make a video saying thank you um, and maybe put something out on this Christmas Eve uh, that's maybe a little bit different. I'm still going to involve the cars, uh, but I'm also going to be doing a few of the things like, um, well, I'll tell you exactly what I've got planned. Actually, no, I won't. You can wait and see later. But I will tell you one thing that I'm going to be doing this morning. First of all, first job on the list on this festive Christmas Eve. Uh, wouldn't be Christmas if I wasn't playing with one of my cars. And uh, well, I'm in the Cayman S right now. And what I'm going to be doing is putting new wheels on the Cayman S. Can't wait to do that. But now, as you may already be aware, if you follow the channel, this Cayman has the 19 inch lobster claw wheels on, which do look good. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I want to put my own stamp on the car. The 19 inch lobster claws came with the car, but I want to put my own wheels on it. Something which is a little bit different, something which hasn't really been done before. In fact, the wheels that I'm going to put on the car, I've only ever seen one photograph online. This doesn't mean it hasn't been done in the world, but I've seen one photograph in the whole of Google with this Cayman with these wheels. So um, I'm fairly sure it will work. We'll get into it and we'll soon find out sooner or later if it's going to work or if it's going to fail um, massively. So first of all, as usual, I need to move a few cars around. Now that I've got the Boxster back, um, the driveway is a little bit more cramped. Uh, first world problems, I know, bad problems, good problems to have, um, whichever way you look at it. But uh, I'm not complaining, let's move some cars. <laughs> Remember where you've put your working gloves, otherwise you have to use gardening gloves. I don't know if it's a sign, but every time I've changed a wheel over, this leaf has been following me everywhere I've gone. Even though I've flung it, the wind just keeps bringing it back to exactly where I am. Could be a good luck sign. Probably not. Back inside the car now, still freezing my ass off. Um, I think I definitely underestimated how cold it actually is this morning. Christ, I need to go in, have a good warm up before we go on with the rest of the day. But the news is, the new wheels are on the car now. Um, well, before I tell you anything, just take a look at them and see what you think. So yeah, these were the wheels which came off the uh, the Porsche Boxster. Uh, as you can see, Porsche Boxster is right there with the uh, lobster claws on right now. Whether I'll be keeping them on there or not, I don't know. They do actually look good, so maybe I will, maybe I won't. Obviously, the wheels that are on this car now, the turbo twist, they look great, I think. Um, I need new tyres on them. The tyres are shot to shit. And um, they'll, they need a refurb as well. The wheels need a refurb because they are in pretty poor condition. So hopefully I'll be getting that done. I was going to say within the next couple of days, but the chances are the refurb company that I use are probably going to be closed over the, uh, the Christmas period. I'll give them a call. If it have to wait till the new year, then it doesn't really matter. 
In fact, I might be better suited just waiting till the spring uh, because I'll be using this car right through winter so there'll be plenty of salt on the road so I may as well just get them refurbed about March, April time actually, that makes so much more sense, yeah, I'll do that. So I'm going to go off inside now, get myself warmed up, then it's off out to uh, Beamish, Beamish first, which is um, uh, basically, how would I describe Beamish? Well, imagine what it would be like to live in, say, 1890, 1910, 1930, 1940, 1950. Well, what they do is they take little bits of old Britain, and they put them all on one site. So it's kind of like a museum through the ages. But what they do is they'll take buildings down and they rebuild them brick by brick. And it's absolutely fascinating to see. And the good news is it's on my doorstep. It's about two or three miles away from where I live. If you've never been to Beamish Museum, I would highly recommend it. It's a, it's a history lesson. It's a, a walk through the times. And it's, it's, it's a phenomenal little place. And you get your full year's membership for about £16, £17. Pounds, so you can go on limited times. Absolutely. Absolutely brilliant. Let's go to Beamish. Do you work here? No, I would like to be working here. I don't like a ballet. A what? A ballet? Like an old ballet? Serious question, do these sunglasses look too big for my face or do they just look stupid in general? I've got a bit of a peanut head and I always struggle to find sunglasses that are suitable for my face. I like the red though, looks a bit stupid but I like it. Okay so the family are inside having a spot of lunch, Beamish has been done, uh, really successful nice festive morning at Beamish. Um, as I say, really recommend it to anybody. Uh, but while they're having a spot of lunch, I'm having a quick drive out in the Cayman. I wanted to um, basically talk about a, a small problem that I have with the Cayman. Um, and it may just be me being daft, and you may well be able to put us right. I've put on a set of H&R springs, as you may know. Uh, I mentioned this in one of my last videos. And it's, uh, it's lowered the car by about 30 to 35 millimeters, allegedly. But I think maybe I just expected a bit too much and I expected the drop to be a little bit further. Um, so my opinion is that the car still sits a little bit too high. And maybe it's just me, maybe I was expecting too much as I say. So I want to gauge your opinion as to whether you think the car is perfect as it is now or do you think it should be dropped even further. Bearing in mind I've just paid close to £650 to getting this car looking like this with regards to the suspension setup. So if I have to then go and you know spend a lot more money on coilovers, then I'll do it, but it, uh, you know, it would piss me off a little bit. So it's a bit of a problem that I've got. Maybe it's just a psychological problem. Maybe I'm just overthinking things and maybe it actually looks too good. But please comment in the box below and let me know what your thoughts are. Okay, so the next stop for the family today is a place called Tanfield Railway. Tanfield Railway is also on our doorstep and uh, they're basically calling it the North Pole Express and it's where we're actually going to go and see Santa Claus. Can't wait for that. But Tanfield Railway is the world's oldest 
railway still in operation and it dates back to 1725. Um, there's a lot of history in today's video, I'll, I'll give myself that. Alright, honestly, I've managed to get some VIP access into the sheds behind where all of the trains are at this oldest railway in the world. And you want to have a look around here. This is absolutely fantastic. Let's just see if we can show you what's going on here. Look at all these old railways, all these old carriages. You just imagine these being on the, on the rails 100 years ago, 200 years ago. Look at these, these are fantastic. And like I say, this thing is on my doorstep. This is about two or three miles from where I live. It's amazing to see all of these trains, which obviously, just nothing's happening with them. They're just sitting, they're just, it's kind of just like a, a graveyard for all of these workhorses from hundreds of years ago. It's magnificent to see, look at this big beast here. Booth Rodley. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go and try and hunt out the actual train that we'll be going on later today. Um, I believe it's parked in this this area. Well, not this area here, but this this kind of uh, scrapyard, if you like, for the old train. So I'm going to go and find that. Um, it'll be interesting to see the actual train that we actually get onto. So let's go and uh, see if we can find it. pretty amazing uh, time to find the family and let's go on the actual North Pole Express and see Santa Claus Excellent. Oh, excellent. Well wow. Done. What do you say, Jacob? Thank you. That's a good oh, thank Merry you very much, Santa Claus. Bye bye. Merry bye. Christmas. What did you get, Jacob, of Santa Claus? <laughs> what did you get of Santa Claus? <laughs> Was it a blue tractor? Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> Take this opportunity to wish all of you a very Merry Christmas. Um, thank you again for your support over the year. 40,000 subscribers is an absolutely uh, phenomenal achievement, I think. 
Uh, but it's all thanks to you guys. It's all thanks to you guys for watching, subscribing, liking and commenting on the videos. So, um, as I say, Merry Christmas. Have a Happy New Year. I will be posting a few videos over the Christmas period as well. Um, maybe nothing too special, but there's a few videos which I've got uploaded, which I just haven't really found the time to actually find a slot to actually upload, uh, sorry, publish onto YouTube. So, there's a few videos which will be coming, may not be very exciting. Um, I will also be posting a, a video on the 40,000 subscribers as well. Uh, I've got a few few giveaways for you as well, just because, uh, just as a thank you to say thanks for getting the 40,000 subscribers. A long bit continued. I'm not about to slow down. I'm going at this full force till I get 100,000 subscribers. And even then, I won't stop. Uh, I'm a man on a mission. So have a great Christmas. Thanks for all your support. Have a happy new year. And I'll see you. Uh, well, probably probably in a couple of days. <laughs> see you soon. Merry Christmas.